early Vedic period, the later Vedic period. And uh, it was not the fact that these were devis with extra powers. I believe that they were women who found this strength within themselves to do the unevitable which people did not expect them to do. And that's how they got worshipped and they became leaders. You know, and so like I said, you take your pick, you bring out the Devi in you and see what you're good at. Never say die. Trust me. Das ko saath leke jahana, but never say die. <laughs> Any other questions, Archana? Would you like to ask a question? So, uh, thank you so much for coming here and your inspirations for, uh, you know, all of us. Uh, just, we have been working in flow to empower women and to get them livelihood. And we are also working for creating livelihood for artisans. We are setting up uh, a Mahila heart in Delhi, in Asafali Road. We have two acres of land given by the Delhi government to create a women's center. So we have women artisans, women cultural performances, and uh, women, uh, women food businesses, and women trade centers. So uh, I'm, I'm just using this opportunity to ask for your advice and some tips that you could do. For, and we want to take this kind of center to every city in India, so that there is a place where a women's history, women-based theatrical performances. So, uh, just using this opportunity to ask for your help and also any tips and advice you would like to give us as to how to take this forward. I think uh, uh, Diyaji would be the right person to help you on that. Yeah, but any any help that we can forward as in my capacity that I can do for you, most welcome. You can get my number from Vinita here and we can do it. After Master's, <laughs> No, I have a factory, so um, I'm constantly looking for people, and uh, yeah, you should, Vinita. Yeah, no, I would uh, be more than happy. We will talk for sure, hundred percent. No, I definitely would like your help because I want to do a, some, something similar in my area. I get a lot of tourists and uh, we want it and we have an area as well. But no but no takers for it. And you know the women, I mean they want me to do it. As an MLA I can't do it. It's uh, not possible. So I am looking for collaboration with somebody. Maybe Fiki Flo or whoever uh, would uh, like to do it. Because we have the women, we have the craftsmen, we have all these trained ladies. We need the, them to get trained better. Yes, yes. So I, something like that. And anything I can. Yes. She takes very good designers to her village, the Savai Madhupur, and these ladies are trained. You know the the kind of work which is used now prevalent. So it is not that age-old techniques of embroidery and designing. She has been very, very. Um, ingenious in you know those products and they are done very fashionably. Some of my friends who are here have also gone with us to Savai Madhupur to skill these women. Yeah, with pleasure and anything I can do for you just let me know. That, of course, that's the local artists, the local uh, painters, the Ranthabur School of Painting. Those are the people who've done it. They're amazing. They're very talented people in that area. Just to tell you that every, I'm just coming back. In fact, I was just telling her the, uh, the kind of uh, uh, experience I've had. I'm just coming back from Rajasthan. Every station from Bikaner to Jaipur to Jodhpur to Udaipur is now being hand-painted by the local artists and completely revamped. And they are absolutely gorgeous. They're fantabulous. Yes, that has been a decision taken by the local governments, which I think is a great decision. 
and uh, yeah, so congratulations to you and your government. Your it's state government has done an excellent job. And it is one of the best stations. Yes, we've got an award from the Ministry of Art and Culture for being the best railway station in the country. I think uh, we, it's already five o'clock and the time is... Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, okay. I didn't see you. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this one's for DRG. Um, you've been an ex modernite uh, <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm also a modernite. I just wanted to ask that how has the school helped you in, in actually being who you are? tell you how. Uh, I think being in a co-ed, it's a co-ed school and it's a, it's not, uh, you know, I mean the kids in Delhi are very different to maybe kids in smaller cities. <laughs> so you learn to grow up uh, really fast and I was, and also it's very easy in a co-ed uh, being with boys, that's what I'm just telling you how it helped me be what I am today. I am, uh, it's, I'm comfortable, you know, being in an all-girls school. I did go to MGD for also a few years. And I just saw the difference in, uh, you know, being in an all-girls school and a co-ed school, and especially a school in Delhi. Uh, more exposure, you're more comfortable being within the company of uh, boys and me men later on. And that really helped me. You're not conscious. Otherwise, in an all-girls school, it takes a while for you to get comfortable in male company. So that was a big uh, uh, advantage. Also, um, yeah, I mean, you are just like a normal kid. For me, I, what my parents wanted me to study in Delhi rather than in Jaipur. Uh, because uh, being in Jaipur, you know, you're always either picked on or given preferential treatment. So they didn't want me to go through that. So it was a great, it's a great school. I don't know how it is now. Are you a modern knight? Okay. Which one? Okay, great. So It's that's a great school. I'm a great modern campus. as well. <laughs> Are you a modernite as well? We have many modernites here. I think time has really flown by. It's past five o'clock. So I'm going to request our treasurer of Flo to make a very quick thank you. Jayanti, over to you. Thank you, Vinita. Good evening, uh, everyone. To sum up today's uh, uh, talks, uh, in Martin Luther King Jr.'s words, if you can't fly, run. If you can't run, walk. If you can't even walk, then crawl. But whatever may be the case, keep moving forward. This is the mantra, I think, in a nutshell that we've gone, got from all the panelists here. Today's session was very, very inspirational. And it has provided us with a zest uh, and a zeal to go entrepreneur. All of us, I think we can. And all of us are, many of us are entrepreneurs. We are really thankful to Princess Dia Kumari and Ravina Tandon and Kalyani Sahajawla uh, for to give us a glimpse of their lives, of their personal and professional lives and the growth that they have gone through, which are really, really valuable lessons for us. And, in the, and, and also to Bela for hosting the event today and uh, congratulations for uh, the duty launch. I'm sure it will do well and there are a lot of women over here I think who will just take up the course and definitely we would like uh, your help in uh, our skilling project which is another we are skilling women in all three levels so in the grassroots level we, we, are, we are negotiating now so we shall take that forward taking help from you all thank you so much and please join us for tea and, hi and snacks thank you.